Hi, this is Bob Williams from Honey Lake Church. I've got my friend here, Steve Bartkowski, that's come and did a wonderful service for us. And uh, and Steve, uh, welcome to Honey Lake, and thank you for coming. Thanks, Bob. This is uh, your own little slice of heaven right here. This is a good precursor to what we're going to have uh, coming up in the next life, yeah? That's right. And uh, I was interested in, in hearing your story where um, you went through... Um, Periods of um, uh, that most people only dream about of being um, drafted number one, all American, all all stars, everything. But uh, you had a big crash, and uh, and I was, I was just wondering, um, you know, you had the the flash, you had the cash, when you were really riding that. Were you knowing peace at that point? No. Um, I knew peace as the world gives it. You know, I, I knew being able to pay my bills and drive the kind of car I wanted to drive. Um, you know, I knew being somebody in the community that people, for whatever reason, looked up to. Um, but I didn't know the peace that uh, the eternal peace that I have now, you know, with, uh, you know, understanding that my sins are forgiven, that I am uh, you know, God's own, um, that he is in me, uh, living out his life, uh, confronting others with the gospel through the members of my flesh. Uh, that's real peace in my, in my mind. And, uh, I'm just curious when, um, when you had your fall and everybody was against you, the headlines, the coach, everybody was putting you down for your bad performance or whatever. Uh, did you have any um, friends that were rallying around you trying to boost you up? I did. I did. Fortunately, uh, we had a roster full of Christian guys, um, and they all came to the rescue. Um, you that know, was going to be my next question. What, were they Christians or were they Yes, not? they were. They were Christians. Uh, you know, it seemed like my worldly friends, you know, they all, okay, well, you're nobody now, you know, <laughs> kind of yeah. kicked me to the curb. But uh, the Christian guys really did rally around me. Guys like Ralph Ortega, uh, Greg Brezina, June Jones, um, Ray Easterling, guys that really, you know, that I looked at and knew they were different and wasn't sure what was different about them. I just knew that they were religious, you know. Um, but those guys were right there for me. Uh, and, you know, they just welcomed me into the family and uh, made me a part of uh, a part of their group. Yeah, I've seen a, a lot of people that had wealth and fame and power and so forth. Uh, and actually, I know a guy that was in politics that fell pretty hard, and he had this big entourage around him, people opening doors, telling him how great he was. Uh, but the minute that he fell, they all disappeared like yeah. cockroaches when you turn on the lights, you know. So Funny how that works, right? Yeah, but Christians, uh, I think that was one of the lessons. I, I mean, you had some great lessons in your message today. But I think that was one of the great lessons that that, um, that uh, might be good next time to point out is mm -hmm. that, you know, when everything seemed at its worst, the, the people who rallied around you were um, Christian people. And, and that's what we're called to do. Uh, so many times uh, people just want to pile on when you're down low. It's bad enough living yeah. through it, and I've lived through it, I, I can tell you. Um, but um, it was a great story. And um, the other thing that I, I was struck by is uh, you had that encounter with that guy that had given you a New Testament and urged you to accept Christ. But that had been three years. Yeah. And yet... Somehow you were able to pull that up at your darkest moment when uh, you knew you were going to lose your job and you'd really played a, a very poor game and and that was it and you were all distraught. And it's amazing to me uh, that you were able to remember that. Actually, it's not amazing because I think that was the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. God reminding you of that. But yeah. tell me how that made you feel. Well, it, it really, 
you know, it was an it was an amazing set of circumstances with a uh, exclamation point on it. Um, I prayed for years. I thought maybe it was just a vision that I had. You know, I mean, I did this really happen? You know, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, it felt as real as if it did. And and uh, I prayed. I said, Lord, I just gotta meet this guy. You know, please someday allow me to meet this guy. So I was speaking at a prayer breakfast. This guy was Jesus. <clears throat> no, no, the guy oh, that the, the guy, guy that, that shared with me in the hotel. Yeah, the guy that shared with me in the lobby of the hotel. So I'm speaking at a prayer breakfast at First Baptist Church, Dr. Stanley's church downtown, and it's down in the uh, the, the old church, you know, and and uh, a guy uh, was sitting at a table as I walked in, and uh, he came up to me, and he grabbed me by the hand, and he said, uh, you don't recognize me, do you? And I said, uh, no, sir, I sure don't, but I sure, you know, don't take any offense. I'm, I meet a lot of people. He said, well, my name is Larry Beckman, and I'm the guy who shared Christ with you in Chicago. He says, as a matter of fact, I shared with every guy on that team. No kidding. Yeah. So yeah. you did get to I meet did him. get to meet him. And I was I was preaching or that speaking that morning on answered prayer. So you tell me God ain't cool. You know? <laughs> <laughs> How neat is that? Well, uh, yeah. So I got a chance to share that with everybody else. I've been praying for, you know, 10, 15 years at this point. You know, I mean, that, that God would allow me to almost give it up on it, you know. But I knew it was yeah. so real. It had to have happened, you know. Um, but it was amazing. I mean, the guy, he was a street minister, basically. Uh, he was, he spent the the last years of his life in Marietta, uh, just street witnessing. Yeah. Amazing and guy. He's passed now. Yeah, he's gone God now. Yeah. To his reward. <laughs> well, what that tells us is you don't ever know how you can affect people. And and actually, I had a guy come up to me just a minute ago, and I didn't even remember his name. I'm embarrassed to say, but he told me, I don't know, maybe five times how much I had affected his life. Hmm. But um, you never do know, do you? But you just yeah. plant those seeds. That's right. Like you did this morning, just, and you don't ever know yep. what God's doing. Just like the shoe salesman in Chicago that does uh, with Reach D. L. Moody, right? You know, yeah. he turned the world upside down. You know, just sharing his faith with uh, a guy that uh, went and just made disciples of millions. Right. Well, it was a very heartwarming story. I, I'm sure that. Um, You've given your testimony many times, as I have, but um, I don't think that you ever get tired of it because you know that, that God gave you that testimony. It belongs to Him, not really Amen. to us. Amen. I mean, the good and the bad. And it was a wonderful redemption story and showing what God can do. I've met a lot of people, but I haven't met many people who have been more favored from God than you have. And uh, generally, that comes through surrender and obedience, and um, and we know that that God loves us and He's got a plan for our life. And Steve's a fine example of that. Um, he could have um, gone the other way. A lot of people do when they first sign of adversity, they turn to the bottle or the pills or or whatever else Satan's got to offer, but you turn to Jesus Christ. And Amen. I'm proud of you for it, my brother. So anyway, that's it here from Honey Lake. Again, Steve, thank you so much for coming. Um, I wish you could stay and go hunting with me this afternoon. I think I'll hunt the stand. That <laughs> but I you saw the big buck on. on. <laughs> Shame <laughs> on you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe God will fail in favor of me. <laughs> I need right. to send pictures. <laughs> I'll, I'll be working that. my way up I-75. <laughs> but anyway, it, it was great, a uh, great day to be with the Lord. Amen. I hope that you went to church today. And then you, sometime you'll come visit us here at Honey Lake Church. It's beautiful. You can feel the Spirit of God. And uh, we thank you for, for sharing this time with us.